Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how you can get a little bit more out of your rechargeable batteries. Over time, I've done a bunch of these projects making battery chargers, battery packs, and tools that can be used with both new batteries as well as the free batteries that I have salvaged in many of my What's Inside videos. I've been asked before if this same setup could work with multiple batteries, but recently when I did a video about putting all of these together, I got some new offline questions about whether or not this will work for battery packs or products that require more than one battery. I also happen to have a fan that I've made before that really chews through batteries, so I need to get a little bit more runtime. If you haven't seen any of those other videos that I've been referring to, you can look to the links below if you'd like some more information, but don't worry, I am going to cover all the key parts and steps in order to set this up to charge and use multiple batteries at the same time. Regardless of the source of your batteries, the one thing you want to make sure of is that you're using two batteries that are of the same type, voltage, and capacity. Once you have that, you're going to need some way to put them together in a parallel connection, and I'll show you a little bit more about this battery pack that I'm using in just a minute too. Just because your batteries read to be the same, you should definitely double check them before hooking them up in parallel to make sure that they actually are closely matched. These two happen to be perfect, but if you've salvaged some batteries, there are a couple quick tips to check first to make sure you've got two batteries that are compatible. The two batteries I'm using today were salvaged for free, but I had previously tested them and charged them separately and they were working well. To connect these two batteries together though, I had to get one of these holders that I could then connect wires to so that I could connect the positive to positive and negative to negative to make everything balance out and work in parallel. Once I had done this, I did go ahead and put both batteries in and I decided to just let it sit overnight so that they could kind of get a form of pre-balance. So what I'm covering here today is a very high level basic way to go ahead and set this up and get it working. There are a lot greater levels of detail that you could go into regarding batteries and battery charging. I'm just not going to do that in this video, but I've put links in the description below to some really good resources in case you're interested in knowing more. Now that the batteries are actually at the same voltage level, I can begin working with them in parallel so that they will charge and discharge from the same point and back to the same point together. For testing out my parallel connection in this video, I'm using a rechargeable power pack that I made for charging cell phones. It's based off a rather straightforward design that uses this one key piece to make everything happen. But the best part is it makes everything happen for less than a dollar. I like to use the micro USB option to charge coming in on the left hand side, which means I just have a few wires to hook up on the right hand side to make the whole thing work. Yes, yeah, so far it's been a lot of thought and talk, but now let's actually plug it in and make sure it works the way it's supposed to. So it starts charging the battery as right as it needs to do it, and then when the time is right, it cuts back the power so that it doesn't overcharge the batteries once they're done. Although not shown here, I did go ahead and hook this up to a device to make sure that in normal use, the protection mechanism built into the circuitry actually cuts off the batteries and doesn't allow them to over discharge as well. So yes, you can actually safely and effectively use this circuit to set up a parallel connection to charge and discharge multiple batteries at the same time. I do sincerely want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by Dialed In DIY to check out my video. If you enjoyed it, got something out of it, or were just distracted for a moment, I'd love it if you'd let me know by clicking that thumbs up. 
I'd also love it if while you're here, you subscribe to my channel, ring the bell for future notifications. Please feel free to share any thoughts you have in the comments below. And please remember to come on back in the future because there will be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.